This video is going to offend some people, but I'm not apologizing for it. That's just a warning. Now that we've got that out of the way, we've all heard the saying, money doesn't buy happiness. And if you believe that, I'm here to wake you up. So let's say you're an average person born into average or below average circumstances, and you were brought up on common beliefs mostly societal norms. If that's you, chances are you were also brought up on the following beliefs. Money is evil, the rich are greedy, and money doesn't buy happiness. I know for a fact that I've been taught all of those things growing up, and I'm here to tell you that they can't be further from the truth. And first of all, we have to look at this. Why do you do what you do? Why do you get up in the morning? Why do you get up every single day to go to a job that you probably don't even like? Why start a business? Why spend so many hours studying and going to school? I'll tell you why. Money. The money you earn from what you do buys you the opportunity to do what you want to do in your free time. And even the very idea that you will earn money after college or after trade school pushes you towards that degree or towards that certification just so you might get that salary at the end of the day. Despite the fact that the last thing that you wanna be doing is sitting up in a classroom. Why leave your family for several hours a day every single day of the week? I'll tell you why. Because that time is exchanged for the opportunity to provide for your family and even do extra stuff like go out on vacations, see new things, go to new places. Why work overtime? Why go for the promotion? Because the money that comes from that has the power to help you improve your life. Why stay with a company for 30 plus years to pay bills, to consistently get paid. And people get comfortable with this. It allows them to pay their bills. It allows them to eat. It allows them to take care of whoever they need to take care of. And it even allows them to buy extra luxury items. This brings fulfillment, which brings happiness. Man, let me tell y'all something. When I first started making good money, I was on top of the world. No kidding. I was able to do things I've never had the opportunity to do before. I've been able to buy stuff that I've never, ever been able to afford in my life. I was able to do stuff like take my entire family out to really nice restaurants. Give, I was able to legit give back to my family and that's something that I've always, always wanted to do. Do you know how good it feels to be able to send your mom money every single time you get paid just because? It is one of the best feelings in the world. And you, you think that doesn't bring me happiness? I'll take it even a step further. You're telling me that if hundreds or even thousands of dollars were going into your bank automatically every single month, no matter what, you wouldn't be happy because of that? You're telling me that if you looked at your bank account right now and somebody sent you $20,000 for no reason that you, you wouldn't be happy about that? I would do backflips. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Now tell me this. How would you act if you saw that you missed a paycheck? How's about two? I'll tell you, you would be looking sick. And even if you follow my advice on this channel and you have several, several thousands of dollars saved up in your account, I promise you'd still be pissed that you even missed a freaking paycheck, much less two paychecks. So that begs the question, Reggie, where does the phrase money doesn't buy happiness come from? Well, that's a good question. I'll tell you where it comes from. Society. What do I mean by that? Think about it. When you're young, what are you told? Work hard, go to school, get good grades so you can get a good paying job and be successful. You're expected to know exactly what you want to do and who you want to be at an age so young that your brain isn't even fully developed yet. That's ridiculous. To put the cherry on top, they make it seem like this is the only realistic path that you can choose to become successful because everything else is too hard. It's too hard to go into business for yourself. It's too hard to become famous. At least that's what society tells you. But what doesn't society tell you? For starters, they don't tell you that even if you do get good grades and you do go to a good school and you do get a high paying job, that does not equal success. 
What happens very, very often is that actually the person who's making good money ends up working stupid hours. And I'm talking 60, 70, 80 plus hours a week. Barely has any time for their family, barely has any time for themselves, is always tired and literally has to beg for time off. But they make good money though. And by the way, good money just ranges from 50,000 and up. So that's very arbitrary, especially when you consider the cost of living in certain areas. Not to mention the fact that this person who's working all these hours is buried in debt due to the school system's lack of financial preparation. We're not ready for that conversation though. But my point is here, I know this struggle all too well because I have literally been there. Word for word, everything I just described, I have been there. I know what it's like. And this results in a very bitter person who has put the time in to get to where they are, yet they're still unhappy. But everybody looks at them as this person who makes so much money, yet they're unhappy. There goes the phrase, money doesn't buy happiness. This person did everything society told them to do. This person got the good grades, got the high paying job, came to work early and left late every single day and is still miserable. Why? Because in this case, there's no balance. There's no work-life balance at all. Literally, there's just work and that is it. When you're in a situation where you can't even enjoy your own family and friends, you can't even get a decent amount of sleep, you can't even get a day off to enjoy your hard earned money, you're gonna be miserable. On the other hand, you hear about the corporate rock star who gets promotion after promotion after promotion until they hit the point of six figures. And then everything changes for the worst. Now they have to commit even more hours to the company, even on their weekends. Like they'll be getting phone calls on a Saturday, ring, 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 all from the company, asking questions, demanding information, stuff like that interrupting all kinds of family time. Imagine being in the middle of dinner and getting a phone call from work. Imagine being in the middle of a good movie, you get a phone call, sorry, I gotta take this. Imagine being on a date with your wife or husband in the middle of that you get a phone call, sorry, I gotta take this. And it's a 30 minute phone call. And you'll hear similar stories like this which end in family splitting up. You'll hear about stories of missed opportunities and very, very, very important events such as missed weddings, missed funerals, missed graduations. This stuff freaking happens. I am not kidding. All because of work. And the I think the worst and most heartbreaking thing about this entire thing is you hear a lot of these ending in divorces, which for one has a ton of emotional issues attached to it on top of financial hardship. That sucks. In these scenarios, money brings absolutely no happiness. When you are a slave to what supplies you your income, there is no happiness. There's only misery. And again, I've been there so I know. You may have also heard stories of famous actors, athletes, singers, etc. Who were, who were going bankrupt, being depressed, going through divorces, having mental health issues. And people see stuff like that and they're like, see? Money doesn't buy happiness. This person has all this money and look at them, just sad. They say stuff like this. But here's the thing guys, we're missing something huge here. Money actually does bring happiness. Here's why. When you keep the scenarios in mind that I just talked about, I want you to imagine a scenario where you can actually stack all the odds in your favor. Think about being able to spend time with your family, make time for yourself, do what you want to do when you want to do it, all while making a very good income. Are you imagining it? Good. I want you to know something, guys. This is actually a reality. You just have to make it your reality. Now, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but sounds to me like it's a very happy reality to live in especially when you consider most of the world are not in this reality at all you see a lot of people already have this reality with their jobs then again a lot of people don't have this reality with their jobs and they wake up to, to do something that they literally hate doing every single day just to pay their bills and for those who don't have that reality 
or those who have recently lost that reality due to the pandemic or just due to jobs being jobs and letting people go and laying people off, I've got something for you. You have to create this reality, whether it's through your own business online or whether it's a traditional business or if it's a side hustle of some sort or if it's even through social media investing because here's something else that society doesn't tell you that you can earn passive income in multiple different ways on multiple platforms and there's several people who were in their teens or even in their early 20s who were out earning top earners in fortune 500 companies by the month meaning those who have chosen this path like those teenagers and those people in their early 20s who have decided to choose this path earn more in a month than most people earn in one year if you don't believe me ask this guy or this guy and because they chose this path they were able to buy their own freedom to do whatever they want whenever they want keep in mind some of these guys went were in college some of these guys were working nine to five some of these guys were working 12 hour shifts but they found a way to do it they found a way to stack the odds in their favor they made the reality where money does buy happiness because they stopped with the whole exchanging time for money nonsense. And the bottom line is money is a tool that can help you improve your life. Money is not inherently evil. If you aren't in a situation where money is bringing you happiness, you owe it to yourself and your family to figure out how to make that happen. And that means you have to improve certain aspects of your life. It means you have to read up on some things. It means you have to do your due diligence. It means you have to do some hustle. It means you have to do some work. That is a small price to pay to be able to do whatever you want, whenever you want. Even if you're not even trying to make a, a full on living off of it, having some extra money to do some extra things, having that extra financial cushion. How does that not inspire you to want to get up right now and do what you got to do? It's going to take some time, just like going to college and getting a degree or going to trade school or getting a certification takes some time but it's worth it. And the payoff is way bigger than any of those, but you have to put the work in to get results. And remember, to be closed-minded about money due to your limiting beliefs is literally limiting your ability to receive and use money as the tool that it is to improve your life. So no more talk about money being evil or money not being able to buy happiness. Complete BS. Thank y'all for watching this video. I know I went a little long on this one, but I'm very passionate about this topic and there's so many limiting beliefs out there about money and people thinking this and that and thinking that money's evil and that rich people are greedy. Nah, you can really have money work in your favor. If you're smart and you know how to use it and you follow this channel and you know how to save it, you know how to invest it, you know how to make it work for you. You can really make some things happen with some extra money on the side. You can get out of debt. You can change you and your whole family's life. That's what I'm here to motivate you guys and help you do. So if you like this content, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Tell me you enjoyed the video, what you enjoyed about it. I will comment back. I will respond to you. Also, I had to throw in there a bunch of societal norms that I just don't agree with, never agreed with. And I, I, I would... I suggest that you guys challenge stuff that you don't agree with. Like you hear all the time on a regular basis, but you really don't agree with it like that. Challenge it. Why do you think like that? Is it because somebody told you to think like that? Is there any evidence of opposing views possibly being better or more beneficial to you? You don't got to go with stuff just because other people are doing it. But that's another story for another day. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Reggie Bryant. This channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. I will see you guys in the next video.